Hey, Daryl, how's it going? Um, you know, Coach uh, was talking about the fact that, you know, you are on the court and extension of the coaching staff. You, you know, we, I asked him about how you your emotions and the way you play the game kind of rubs off on the teammates. Um, just, just how do you look at your role this year and, and the role you've had on, you know, on this group as a whole and, and how important it's been and, and through everything you guys have been through this year? I'm a leader for sure. Um, on the court, off the court, um, in the locker room, going to get food anywhere. Um, that's been just been my job this entire year. Um, and just try to lead by example, use my voice. It's kind of crazy too. Um, <laughs> You're good. Uh, but yeah, just leading as much as I can as possible. Um, I know how, how contagious my energy is. Um, how everybody feed off me. Um, so I'm just, you know, trying to be consistent with bringing it every game and just lead, lead my guys. Um, and, you know, as we go through the rest of this season here, two games left in the regular season, the postseason coming up after that, you know, at this point, what what are you guys the team playing for? And, and what are you, you know, Daryl Morcell as an individual playing for right now through the rest of this year? Um, well, right now as a team, you know, we taking it one day at a time um, and just focusing on getting better every day. Um, right now, you know, we locked in on Northwestern um, and we just going to let everything else, you know, handle, handle it. So, um, but we just try to get better. We're going, uh, but we need to continue to improve on this stuff. Um, and just going out and, and competing when we on the court. Thanks, Emily, Jim, Emily G and Baba. Hey, Daryl. Um, I was just gonna ask quickly, when you said you're a leader in regard to going to get food, what does that mean? You pick the place? <laughs> nah. Um, just like, you know, figuring out how we're going to get there. Um, just something even as simple as just making sure everybody know where, you know, come to the car, like whatever, like that type of stuff. I got you. Um, okay, my, my real question is like, when you look at how much this team has grown and evolved over the course of the year, I mean, Coach Churchill has repeatedly mentioned just having to figure out the best way to play with this group. Um, do you feel like, you guys have changed more over the course of the season than in past years? Um, yeah, I can say that. Um, you know, over just not just with us having, you know, no summer, um, just limited in the fall. Um, Coach Turgeon wasn't, you know, really around and able to see the team as much to get a better feel for us. Um, so, you know, he was like making changes throughout the year and stuff like that. Um, so, COVID and us not having a summer could attribute to us, you know, changing a lot more than we typically would. Um, but I think we kind of found who we are um, and we're, we've are we seen success recently and we know what it takes to, um, to win games and be competitive in this league. Heather McDonough. Okay. Emily literally took both my questions. I was curious. I'm like, is Daryl like Wendy's? And everybody just goes to Wendy's like that was... <laughs> um, but uh, Coach mentioned, or actually uh, Aaron mentioned um, that Coach Turgeon had said the best is yet to come um, about, you know, a, a month or so ago. So how, how did you take that? And did you did you feel that about this team, knowing you've been a part of a lot of Maryland teams? Um, what is it about this squad that made you think the best is yet to come and you could start reeling off some wins and, and make a real run here? Personally, like, I probably say everybody on the team, but we all feel like we haven't put together a complete 40 minutes. Um, just as far as, you know, hitting shots, being locked in defensively. Um, like we've had spurts, you know, where we might have had a game where we did well for 32 minutes or, you know, had a game where we was locked in for 20 minutes or something like that. Um, but we all feel like we have not put a whole game yet. Um, and that's just – like speaking on the best is yet to come. Um, just us believing that we have the capability and potential, you know, to put a whole 40 minutes together. Um, it's just kind of that belief and, you know, something we trying to build on and like, yeah. yeah. I mean, you led wire to wire. Well, Heather, 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 oh, Heather got sorry, time. So you have to go. Okay. No. Time, time for one more. Lila, go ahead and ask a question and then we got to go. Um, hey, Daryl. So, you know, Quan kind of told me that in recent weeks, he's just kind of been coming up to you after games and like saying that you should be defensive player of the year and kind of just telling you he's going to get that message out there. Just what has kind of been your reaction to that? Just kind of like seeing 
uh, you know, I know your team first guy, but just kind of like in an entertaining way, just seeing how enthusiastic he is about that, like kind of how serious he, he's taking this whole campaign thing. All that, all that stuff is, you know, honestly funny to me. Um, I love it. Uh, I feel like, you know, I compete defensively every possession. Um, and I'm just trying to, you know, set a tone and, and set a certain energy for my team. Um, it's good that, you know, Aquan sees it and he's, you know, young in the program, so he could pick up the importance of defense and stuff like that. Um, but all this, you know, you know me, I don't really pay attention to that type of stuff. Um, I'm just go out there and compete, but I love it. It's funny. People send it to me and stuff like that. So it's great. All right, Dale. Uh, safe travels out to Evanston. Thank you for your time. Yeah, appreciate it. See you guys. It.